Today's vlog is brought to you by... Seriously, I think that was enough of that. Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here, and uh, I don't know if you guys can notice this or not, but my face is starting to kind of slender in a little bit and I've got a neck now you know look at that neck anyways uh, I guess those pills are starting to kind of like do a little something here which I was starting to get a little worried that they weren't doing anything at all but just upsetting my stomach but uh, otherwise yeah they look like they are doing something now I've got, I haven't weighed myself it has not been a week yet so when I get on to the Actually, it's been three weeks since I've been on the pills, but only two weeks I've been taking them. So, uh, yeah, this after this week, Friday or so, I'll try to jump on the scale, see if there's any other changes again. But anyways, uh, you know, listen to you guys' videos and stuff. You guys start talking about, some of you guys start talking about uh, family members who are musically inclined. You know, people who played instruments or whatever in your family. Now, I can't go too far back in my family because I don't really know uh, the history. I know my family came from Naples, Italy, and uh, out there, I'm sure somebody played something. Okay, but out here, you know, when my family came to uh, Chicago years ago, uh, I have a Uncle Jeff who was basically uh, 28 years old when he passed away, and I was 13 years old, so he was kind of young. He played drums. And when he was a kid, he played guitar. And he was actually quite good at it. Uh, drums he ended up getting into later on in life. And uh, you know, he got his own plays, obviously, because my grandmother would not fucking put up with him playing drums. So he ended up uh, getting his own place and getting a set of drums. Well, when he was 28 years old, he passed away from cancer. Not from smoking or drinking or drugs or anything else. Just something that happened. My cousin on my father's side, which was my other uncle's uh, son... He ended up getting my uncle's drums, and uh, he ended up having a band and ended up, you know, doing quite well, but never really, like, going any place with it. He went with the family's business and started to uh, take over for his father, uh, taking care of the company. So it was kind of like one of those things where, you know, he got into it, got involved in it, and next thing you know, he ended up uh, just losing interest and in taking care of life. My father, on the other hand, now the story goes is, is I guess my father, uh, he was like eight years old or something like that when he took up this instrument. And I don't know if this is the original one, but I know this thing's older than hell. Uh, well, maybe not old as hell, but close to it. <laughs> he was a kid and my grandmother used to walk him down the streets on Grand Avenue in Chicago for lessons for this thing all right and I don't know how she did it my father walked to school four o'clock every morning with no shoes on uphill both ways and five feet of snow this son of a bitch is heavy, all right, and I don't know how she did it for a woman as far as carrying my bro my father and, uh, I don't know why I said my brother, carrying my father and this thing at the same time. Uh, my father did not want to go to these lessons, so being a kid, I could imagine him, uh, you know, putting up a fit. So, let's see what we got in the box. 
Now right, you can see from the amount of dust that's on this case, this has been sitting for a while inside the closet. Nobody uses it. This is pretty much an antique by now, I guess, but let's see what we got in the box. Is it going to open? There we go. Now, I don't know. There's no markings inside of this box as far as what the hell, uh, how old is. And this is not vinyl. This is actually leather. Uh, just very old. Fucking accordion. Yep, this was my father's when he was a kid. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. No, I guess not. This was my father's when he was a kid. And uh, let's see if I can get the name on this thing. Champion. Hmm. Now, it still works. There's nothing wrong with it um, other than it just sits in a fucking box. But, I mean, it's beautiful as far as how it looks. It's really fucking nice. I don't know if this thing is like all plastic or I doubt it's plastic. Well, it's got the antique old smell to it. That's the one thing. One thing I, I've noticed with like all the old cars and shit that we did in the past, uh, they all had this same fucking smell to it. You know, the old cloth or maybe it's just the asbestos that's, you know, it was made with. Who knows? But they all, everything has this old like smell. Let me take this thing out of the box. All right. I took it out of the box sitting on the chair right next to me and this all bitch has got some weight to it i don't know how an eight-year-old kid was able to hold this thing on them on their shoulders and stand up or whatever as far as playing this goes um things heavy as hell all right i don't know what the hell it's made out of or what's inside here i'm not going to take it apart but uh yeah so i am not i embarrass myself enough playing guitar Let's see how much I can embarrass myself playing this. <sighs> Unlock it. Move the lock out of the way. Oh, my freaking ears! That's all you're getting out of me. So it works. Still plays. <laughs> I didn't tell you to do that. Anyways, um, it's got beautiful sound. I mean, it sounds great. Uh, I don't know, you know, here's, I guess this is the area where the sound comes out of, but just sitting behind it, I mean, it sounds fucking awesome, but it's not a musical instrument that I would be interested in playing, uh, um, I hope. But it, it's really nice. There's no markings on this thing at all to sit there and say, oh, wait, there is a, there is a seal on it. I can't fucking read it, though. So let's get to the paperwork that's inside this box, okay? Now, it is sheet music that's inside here. So maybe the sheet music can give me... Uh, a little bit of an idea of a copyright date of where to place this so starting off here is one sheet looks like it's part of a book and uh, okay copyright uh, 1954 looks like my father wrote down all the notes or somebody wrote down all the notes it looks like almost looks like a child's handwriting wrote down all the notes and the copyright is 1954 on this one here. Here is a certificate here. Teacher date. Uh, back of it's a glossary of basically what all the buttons are. Certificate has not been filled out. Here's another part of a book. Old ass book. And copyright 1953. Uh, it's 1953 copyrighted. Here's a little state legal stationery, which looks like somebody wrote down some shit on the back of this. Uh, this was just a, this wasn't a book. This was just a page, two pages. Let's we'll see what that is. And a price, $1.50 in the U.S. 
and copyrighted on this is 54 and 55. Here's a, another music sheet here. Another music sheet. Here's another part of a book. But the funny thing about it is this is the book. No other pages. Um, here's the cover of it. 50 cents was the price. And there is copyrighted 1953. A introduction to the musical instrument. And is there a copyright on this? Ah, no, this is a, um, basically how much it costs for a lesson. Grade one was $1.25, and for the uh, books, for your notes and your books, it was 75 cents. Um, grade two was a dollar twenty-five, and your books were a dollar a piece. This goes all the way up to grade five for learning this thing. That's pretty fucking pretty cool. Some more music sheets. Now this came from a part of a book, probably. Let's see here. No, it's something else. Forty cents for these books. Unreal. Here's some more. I know that's not my father's writing right there. And here is another part of a book. Ow, ow, ow. Sorry about that. A little bit of a sharp pain on my side for some reason. No copyright on it. At least not a date, but uh, pretty interesting. This is all the shit that was inside here. That's all the shit that's inside here. I don't know. Kind of interesting, I guess, you know old piece of history as far as musical instruments go. Mm. I wouldn't play this. I would not play this. I think I embarrassed myself enough by taking it out of the box and saying it belongs to my father. So that's it. You know, that's you know my father's Musical instrument. This is how far back, uh, I guess, my family goes as far as uh, music. Now, my family, my father's side, coming from Naples, Italy, I'm sure that there was a lot of uh, either these or something else that was being played. Now, my mother's side is the Polish side. And where did she come from? God damn, I can't remember what what, what it was. Um, shit, it wasn't Poland. It was around that area her family came from, but not right from Poland. Um, but I don't know if there's anything as far as my family history on my mother's side goes for musical instruments. I never heard any stories in my past or uh, present or anything else. But, uh, yeah. So that's it. I guess this is my vlog for today. And I believe it's what? 13, 14? 14, I believe it is maybe? I don't know. All right, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. That's about it for today. And, uh, later.